Okay, here we are. Greetings. Hi. Uh, greetings, Leo. That's you. This is Terra Illumination. And this is your general mini, like, broad spectrum report for August 2018. Okay. So before we get into it, just like the other signs, we're going to do a little bit of an appetizer, some hors d'oeuvres here with a bit of the Terra Illumination Astro Doodles. So let's find you. Here we go. So in a way, Leo, this is your month, okay? It's probably kind of a tumultuous time for you, Leo, because even in July, uh, you had that monster, super high-stressed uh, Leo Aquarius eclipse of July 27th. So for the first two weeks of August, you're probably dealing with the aftershocks. And that would have been happening, of course, in some very, very delicate, sensitive parts of your chart, like the trigger points. Like, okay, let's just look at it here, okay? Here is August 2018. This is you, Leo, and we're going to uh, focus on one thing in particular, which is the new moon Leo eclipse in your first house on August the 11th. There's a whole pile of other stuff going on, but this is just, a, this is more than enough just for this little channel, this little video. So coming out of July, uh, we had the Leo Aquarius eclipse, which would have been directly on your relationship axis, your first house and seventh house, where the Aquarius moon on the 27th would have been right over here. And it would have been, guess what, in very hard squares with this energy here in Scorpio. Excuse me, I'm tweaking this now. And over here in Taurus. And these were very hard, very challenging squares. So you might have been flummoxed, perplexed, uh, blown away by certain things, almost like shock and awe, to the point where maybe you can't really do much about any of it or whatever, whatever's happening because your, your, your jaw is just hanging loose. It's that kind of energy, all right? So at the same time, here we are coming in. So, sorry, July 27th, okay? And then two weeks later, here we are into August 11th. So we have this big cluster here. Sun, Sun, Moon, Mercury, North Node, all clustered here in your first house of self, on the solar self here. And in loose ways, uh, coming out of July and into a, a big chunks of August, it's under a lot of pressure. You are under a lot of pressure, Leo, uh, from the Jupiter in Scorpio, Uranus in Taurus, and the aftershocks of Moon in Aquarius on that eclipse, July 27th. Two weeks later, here we are now. What is being eclipsed out of you as a person, as a self, as an identity, as like who you think you are, who you see yourself to be, who others see you to be? What is being eclipsed away? And what is being eclipsed into your life now? This is like a before and after effect, okay? And with the eclipses, there's no way out of it because these are like, the eclipses act kind of like spiritual gateways, spiritual uh, checkpoints, like the uh, high security TSA people at the international airports where you have to get in line, you go through the heavy duty monster screening where anything and everything that is not acceptable is removed. Anything that is acceptable is perfectly okay. You move forward. So uh, <clears throat> whatever it is, you're going to find out, Leo, and it's going to be right in your face. And it's going to come at you from the significant others. And also, you're going to feel it in the, your home, your, your home environment, your place of where you sleep, security, the foundations of your life. And it's going to have shock waves and ripple effects in your destiny in this world, your place, your mission. Your, like, who are you? What are you doing here on this planet? What is your reason for being here uh, in your highest self, your highest expression, your achievements? Okay? And this is all happening simultaneously, okay? I mean, we could just look at this, but the reality is all of this stuff is happening too, plus a lot more. But we can't do all of this on this tiny little channel. So we'll just play with this for now. So you might be stuck in kind of one of those positions where it's like, oh, wow, this is amazing. Or like, oh, wow, this is like, uh, 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 what the heck is going on? 
Okay, so just please allow for that. Let's get into some cards now. You know the routine, especially if you've been here before. Watch for your sun, moon, and rising. And especially if they're all different. If you have stelliums, of course, that's a different thing. Also, cross-watch for your significant others if you want to. This is not a love and relationship reading. There's a separate playlist for that from a few days ago. So go there. Meanwhile, this is just all about you. Okay, Leo? Cards were well shuffled in advance. No jumpers, no flyers, no oracles, no reversals. We're going to try and keep it simple. We're going to use this beating heart uh, spread, uh, which allows very broad spectrum perspectives. And then we get down into deep laser focus, all in one little tiny reading. Okay? So you can do that. You can handle it. Also, uh, Leo, please bring in your significant um, invisible friends and to turn this into a team event, okay? Because we are dealing with the nodal axis, you know, the Leo Aquarius thing, there's the self, and then there's like almost like the non-self, uh, like who you would be in a community setting where the community and the wolf pack is more important than you, the individual. So how do you integrate into that? How does that pack integrate with you? Ha ha, mm, interesting. So let's have a look what's going on here. I'm going to shuffle to the last second so that you're a witness. And let's just be grateful that we can do any of this at all. Bless the internet, bless YouTube, bless Terra Illumination, bless you, Leo. Bless the cards, bless this deck, bless this reading, okay? And let's, let's go for it. All right. Okay, here we go. We're going to cut it up. Nice and gentle, nice and even. Okay. Sometimes I don't do that, but right now I just need to be, I need to like chill a little bit. Okay. Over here, core heart center energy. This is like at the very core of you. If this is out of alignment with you and your 3D self and your egoic self, then we have a problem. Okay. We need to bring this and this in as close to alignment as possible in parallel, ideally. So the heart needs what it needs, it wants what it wants, and it's hoping that you understand that and resonate accordingly, okay? What are you bringing in with you? What kind of legacy? Are you still dealing with all the shocks and awe of the last eclipse and the eclipses before that through all this whole cycle of the Leo Aquarius eclipses? What does that look like? What about the ever-present now? You might feel as though, like, you know, even though you're a Leo and you can handle the spotlight, sometimes it can be overwhelming when the spotlights really are on you, just imagine you're going through that security checkpoint at your favorite international airport, and it's through, it's like a gateway system. Once you go through that gate, they, you don't go back. You have to go forward, and it can be a bit scary when all the gadgets, the dials, the knobs, the scanners, the friskers, the x-rays, the magnetic doorways or everything, they're all focused on you. It's like, okay, that's wonderful, but Oh my God, what are they going to discover that I didn't even know about myself? Hmm. Staying ever present in the now means just accepting that which is. Nothing before, nothing after, just dealing with reality as it is. Okay? Over here, the healing power of your decisions. It is when you are in your power and you're dealing with it face on, uh, where you have the maximum chance of optimizing what is best for you in this life. Love thyself. Uh, make the decisions to do that. First and foremost, love thyself, and everything flows from there, okay? Uh, you could easily be a martyr if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't suit you, but you could uh, with all this Eclipse stuff energy going on. Uh, we'll, we'll find out, but over here with the healing power of your decisions, it's all about understanding like the energy that you have to tune into in order to do that. So once you've tuned into it, how do you do it effectively so that it works? on a continuous basis so that you can get in the flow and stay with the flow and take full advantage full advantage of all the things that are happening here as opposed to being a victim who needs that over here we can generate consequence so once you start to see that this is like a fam a pattern a formula almost like a party trick then uh, it makes kind of sense to do it if you're one of those people who just, you know, thinks that life happens and then you just react. Good luck with that. This would feel like fate. 
if you like to stay very conscious, very, very present, and take full charge and full ownership of all the energies of the round, that are around you, and um, literally like exploit that for you, what is best for you, then that, that's, more, that's much healthier. It's not um, self, it's not narcissism, it's deep self-love, okay? There's a huge difference. What happens if you're having a really crappy day and you're not in the zone, you've lost it, you're just, it's overwhelming, okay? Because this is almost, frankly, overwhelming. This could be so overwhelming for Leos, for all Leos, for any Leo, frankly. So please brace yourself for August and allow yourself to be, um, let's say, frisked, okay? It's not fun, not pleasant, but that's kind of what's happening here. That's how I feel, all right? So what does that look like when you're in the zone and you freak out and you say, don't do that. Uh, I'm not a criminal. I just, uh, that's not, that's not really true. It's just like, oh, uh, that makes the lights shine on you even more. Uh-oh, what's he hiding? What's she hiding? What happens if you're in the zone and you just accept exactly what happens and you deal with it and you flow and move from there? Over here, momentum for the next beat of the heart. It's that simple. See this? I hope you see this as a heart shape. I hope you understand that this is at the very, very core. We're looking at layers. If this is When this is good, then this is good. When this is good, then this is good, which is good for everybody. So love thyself, okay? Circumstantial energy, weather, environment, whatever. Think of it as weather, okay? Let's have a look. We're going to make the best of it because you have to. There's no choice. So you had the Knight of Wands. Whew. I'm very glad to see this here. It's To me, this is encouraging. This, to me, is an indication that you're all, you already have some advanced awareness that you're kind of, in some ways, perhaps in for a shock. So instead of being like terrified of this and trying to run away or hide or do, or duck or dive or thinking you can get through this uh, spiritual gateway unscathed. It's almost like, you know what? I'm a Leo. <laughs> I can handle this. Like, I got this. I am sure I've been through stuff like this before. Let's just go for it. In fact, bring it on. Watch me. Watch me. I can handle it. Don't worry. I'm a Leo. That's what I do. Okay. And I know everybody's watching, but that's okay. Again, I can handle it. So that's kind of what I'm feeling here right now. Uh, bravado, I think, would actually help, frankly, to get through this. It's just like you need a lot of, like, courage. A lot of courage to get through this. It takes a lot of courage to get through something like this. Brace yourself for this. Live through it and come out the other side. Whatever it is out the other side, acceptance. That means graciousness. Uh, humility and surrender and acceptance and allowance. That's a lot to do for anybody. What's the heart saying over here? Okay. Well, here we are with the nine of wands. So the heart might be thinking like, like, ha, da, 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 da. this is a lot of bravado. You're in a circumstantial envir environment situation where like you're being encouraged, enlivened to go forward with all of this. But it feels to me like the reality is that this is actually freaking scary. This is uh, almost like to the point where gulp, I could bolt, I could run at any moment if I don't keep my stuff together. And the heart knows this. So I feel as though there's a bit of anxiety here. I feel like the heart would be uh, like, you know, a little bit stressed out here, like higher pressure, higher pulse rate as we get through August because there's so much pressure on you, Leo, through August. I know it's your month and it's the sun is shining on you, but with the eclipses, having come out of that full moon eclipse, very stressful, very challenging, and all the hard angles that are happening simultaneously on you through August, it's a lot to handle. And I think you're not, your heart knows that. So it's almost like your heart is preparing itself, stealing itself, guarding itself, understanding that, like, it's almost like saying, you know what, Leo, please, okay, I'm glad you're, like, putting on a good show and you're putting your best foot forward and everything, but please, please understand that this is very, very stressful for me at the very core of your being. I am totally here for you. 
please, please do exactly what has to be done. Nothing more, nothing less, because I am tapped out and I am maxed out. I just wanted to let you know, okay? I got to go back. And then you say, well, thanks for letting me know. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm prepared now. I can handle it. Don't worry. We're going to do with this. We're going to deal with this. We're going to handle this. Okay. So what are you bringing in with you, Leo? Okay. <laughs> I think we had this on another reading somewhere. I can't remember. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're kind of overjoyed. Maybe you're coming in feeling that you've got this. You've totally got this figured out and you can handle it. And yeah, it's a bit scary. Maybe you're proposing to someone. Maybe someone's proposing to you. Maybe you're fully like becoming public with your greatest, most awesome self. And you're seeing yourself as somebody quite magnificent without having to boast or, sh or, or diminish anyone else by your own light. And that in some ways puts a lot of pressure on the heart level here. I don't know. You can reinterpret this how you want. But... It feels like like you have something to celebrate, something that needs to be honored, and that um, it's like with your pack, where everybody needs to like. It's almost like like Leo is moving in here into the eclipses. Da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is really really cool stuff, and your heart is like. God, I don't know if we can handle this. I don't know if we can handle this. But you're dealing with it. You're going through. Look at all this wand energy. Passion, drive, fire, and light. It's just like full on. It's totally full bore. It's just like, I am awesome. And we're going to handle that. And everybody knows I'm awesome. And I'm going to celebrate that with them. And they're going to celebrate that with me. And we're going to turn it into like um, a group love fest. Okay? And that's just wonderful. Thank you very much. And that's what I'm letting you know, Tarot Illumination, because that's how I feel, and I have a feeling it's real. I'm not making this stuff up. Okay, so that's good. I'm glad to hear that for you, Leo. Uh, congratulations. I'm proud to hear this. I'm, I'm proud of you. What does this actually mean? I'm not sure, but you would know what that means. Over K, let's have a look. What about right now? Okay, well... With the Six of Swords here, my feeling is that it's like you're coming into your light. You're coming into your power. It is being acknowledged. You are acknowledging everyone who has been there for you and for whom you are there. It's almost like a celebration of... It's like, it's like uh, what are those... Like an award ceremony or something. That's what I'm feeling here. Uh, of like the old ways going out, the new ways coming in. But it, to me, it feels like this is more about what you're coming in with, like uh, how you've done so well to get to this point so far, and that deserves recognition <clears throat> and accolades. <clears throat> uh, but right now, in the present moment, here now in the reading itself, it's more like uh, you know you have to move on. You know there's no stopping it. You know you're going to have to change and shift and perhaps leave certain things behind that are no that no longer belong to you, whatever that might be. Attitudes, perceptions, beliefs, understanding, concepts, conditioning, people, situations, relationships, whatever that is, and move on into a new life, a new structure, a new way of being uh, to be determined, still to be a determined, that works better for you. So that's kind of that's kind of serious to me. That feels kind of serious. So in that in the in the spirit of moving on here and thinking of like broadening your horizons and perhaps exploring new territories, locations, maybe you're bringing this good energy with you. Maybe you're leaving this behind, as gorgeous as this is, because it's in some way or other. The eclipse is going to do what it does. It is going to eclipse out what is no longer yours, and it is going to eclipse in what is yours, especially in terms of your identity, your sense of self. Let's look at it this way. Sense of identity, the physical body, the right to be right now, how you are. And it's often how others see you and how others may perceive you. Uh, it's the lens of you. It's like your physical, like the very first impressions of you. It is your selfhood. It is your self-image. 
It is how you are like perceived on first awareness. It is your presence. Okay, think of it as your presence. It's going to change. Okay, it's going to change. Maybe you will literally change the way you look, the way you look. All right, let's have a look. So in the present, in the now, if you know that things are shifting and changing, that you're going to have to grow and evolve and move on, perhaps seek new pastures, seek new horizons, find new attitudes, ways of being that you've never right, like, actually enjoyed before, because all you know is this, all you know is this, all you've ever known is this, but now you know there is something else coming to you and for you, so you have to go through it. There's You can't stop the ecliptic flow all right it's like going through that um tsa security clearances things you know immigration emigration and all that let's have a look so it's in the presence where you get it's in the present where you have access to the healing power of your decisions which is all about love thyself and it looks like at the deep heart soul level you really really need that Despite all the excitement and fun of what might be happening on the surface, there's still a tremendous amount of pressure here and trepidation. And it just looks like you're doing a very good job of dealing with it. Okay, with the Knight of Cups, my feeling here is that when you're making your decisions about what to do, where to go, how to do it, when you're moving forward, morphing into and transforming into your new self, it does mean, it feels to me like graciously walking away from anything and everything that does not work and moving towards what does work and what does work is making love the number one priority and making it vividly obviously expressive maybe you have something to say to someone maybe you need to express love to someone maybe you need to express love to thyself uh, first and foremost because maybe you need that maybe you've been uh, neglecting yourself undermining yourself maybe you've been giving it away to others we don't know. You can uh, you can reinterpret that if you want. My feeling here is that um, compassion is due. Due to it is due. It is you. It's owed to you. You owe this to yourself. And hold on, I just want to check something about the Aquarius energy here. The moon is in Aquarius. Okay. So excuse me. Sorry, I just was muttering. So. Make always make the decisions to step away from like the, the the standard behavior, which would be to stay locked into the existing self and try to protect and defend that, and instead allow the existing self to morph and change and evolve and move on. Allow whatever is not yours to move away joyfully and accept that, and allow whatever is yours to move into your life joyfully and accept that don't take it personally always come forward with the with the loving approach the loving perspective like uh, i bless you i bless myself i bless my others i bless my loved ones they bless me and that's how i came into the reading and i want to keep it going that way i want to love and i want to be loved i want to cherish others and i want to be cherished thank you very much but we're taking it to the next level now thank you very much so how do we do that effectively? Okay, well, in some ways it's like a team effort, but it's also about just recognition, appreciation of others. I feel it's also very, very much about, uh, to me this feels, I don't know why I'm feeling it, but the attitude of gratitude here, where it's very, very important that you become acutely aware of how your the goodness of whatever's happening in your life right now is very, very contingent upon uh, others and is a direct consequence of your integration with others and others' integration with you so that it is a team effort where they would not have wasted any time with you uh, unless they felt it was worth your while. And you would not have wasted any time with them if, unless you felt it was worth your while so that you, be, you recognize each other's value. You recognize the value in the others and the others recognize the value of, uh, of, of you with them in this situation so it is kind of a group effort and i think this is kind of relating to the aftershocks and the ripples that are happening from 
the Aquarius Leo full moon eclipse at the end of July. I think a lot of this is to do with you still trying to learn how to integrate that stuff. I think there's still a lot of aftershocks here and a lot of stuff that still needs to be learned as you morph from the old you into the new you. As the old you is eclipsed away and the new you is eclipsed into being. And you've got team support. You've got team effort there. And understand that. Don't think that you can do this on your own. It's very, very contingent about being part of um, the community relationship where you are just literally part of the community. But you do not deny yourself. So let's have a look. Generating consequences. To me, I feel what happens is that Let's say you get really tuned into this energy and you gracefully and humbly uh, choose the peaceful path, choose the loving path, always moving forward um, in your enthusiasm, in your excitement, so that you're not driven by adrenaline and ego and desire and passion and self-satisfaction. You're driven by the love. You're driven by the desire to love and be loved first and foremost, and you turn that into a practice and other people start to understand that and get that. The consequence is that it gives you a chance to like reboot, restart your life here and grab it and take charge in more effective ways than you've done before. Because now you are fully aware, like when you go through the screening thing here, like remember we were talking about the airport, the frisking and the screening, the x-rays and the... Uh, uh -oh, like uh, open your bag, sir, all that kind of stuff. It's very, very scary, but at least you get to find out everything and any, anything that's not working for you and that's not appropriate for you going forward. And so you could think of that as the shadow self, um, but part of it is integral with your being. So you have to find a way to integrate the shadow and the light simultaneously. So you become one complete cohesive being who becomes in charge of their life starting this whole new Leo eclipse again. So to me, this is a very like a huge calendar moment in your life, your life on the big scale, not just for August, but for your life. This isn't going to happen again for another almost 20 years. So you might as well go for it and make the most of it and see this as a real chance. I think this very closely relates, relates to the new moon eclipse energy here on August 11th. And then coming out the other side, this energy will make a lot more sense towards uh, the end of the month and especially in September, October, November and into next year. What happens if you mess up and you think this is all about you and uh, that uh, you don't have to make these like, like, like humble decisions and, and instead having to make the decision to love thyself first, which is totally doable, uh, but it would have to take it to a new level so that it works for everybody in the community here. What happens if you forget about it and you just get lazy and you think, I can just write on my laurels? That's putting too much pressure on the heart. What does that look like? Okay, it reveals your naivety. It reveals how little you know about how love actually works, and that's a problem. Okay? Now, if you get tuned into this and you don't take it personally, you don't feel like someone's trying to humiliate you or undermine you because they're frisking you or uh, pushing you through, taking you through customs and excise and immigration, because everyone else has to do it as well. So if you don't take it personally and just allow that you are a human being like the rest of us with all your beauties and strengths and your flaws and weaknesses and challenges, then you realize that love is the only thing that really, really counts. And sometimes the screen is frozen. Hold on. I don't know what happens when the screen does that. I don't get it. Please forgive the video. I don't know what it's going to look like when it comes on the channel, but it just froze for a bit. And I just kept going anyway. So anyway, like when you're in the zone here and you realize that this is a pattern, this is a formula, it's liberating. It allows you to like find new horizons, more gentle ways of living that are actually more effective. Like when you cross the border, so to speak, of the eclipses and come out the other side, you realize that it's okay. It's okay to be innocent and not know everything. And it's okay to just admit that there's still a lot more to learn, especially when it comes to love and being loved. 
ultimately the hardest lesson of all being love thyself love thyself okay so that's a good thing that's a good thing to realize that there's still so much to learn and you're willing to commit to go forward let's have a look momentum for the next beat of the heart the journey continues look at that so to me this is very inspiring this to me is like a continuation of from where you started it's just like for illumination i already knew this i already knew i'm going to get through august okay yeah i'm going to have my challenges yeah i know i'm stressed out at my core yeah i know i have my you know a few flaws here and there oh uh, but in general it's going quite well and i i know what you're talking about love thyself and i know we're going to have to take it to the next level i know i'm going to get frisk and i know i'm going to learn a lot from there and grow and move on but that's so cool because that inspires me to want to keep going because there actually is another eclipse. I think it's in February 2019, which is the very, very last one. I think I made a mistake in some of the other readings thinking this was the very last of the Leo Aquarius eclipses. I believe there is a Leo Aquarius eclipse very early February. So please allow for that. Pardon my mistakes for the other readings. But with the Page of Wands here, the Page of Cups here, to me, this is very encouraging for you to expand and grow and move forward with new lease on life. Like the, the journey starts all over again. Um, like bigger and better before than before, uh, with more fuel, more energy, more passion, and better outcomes from having endured all of this, becoming wiser, more loving, more loved. All right, I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I hope you got something out of this, Leo. And turn this, reinterpret this to your best understanding, all right? Thank you for visiting Terra Illumination. Bye-bye.